Ow! Uh, what up, gang, gang? Welcome back to another episode of Smack Talk. And we are here on episode 244 as we glide into Kangamania. Yes, that is right, ladies and gentlemen, Kangamania is rapidly approaching. And I promised you last week we would have a double up episode. That didn't happen due to backstage shenanigans. But I, it has to happen at some point. You will have a another episode before predictions. I promise you on that. But we don't focus on that episode that's coming up. We focus on the one that is in the now. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we still have things to do before we reach Kangamania. And... That includes a message from a certain wild card. So, I think we all know who it is. Take it away, Zach. So, the last couple of weeks have been pretty wild for me. Um, you know, all things considered. Uh, they've been pretty wild in terms of my faction. I'm a faction guy. You all know I'm a faction guy. Well, that kind of fell through. Sebi just, like, betrayed my faction, the Sigma I know factions require more than two people, but this is the closest thing I was going to have to a faction. We had coordinating music, for God's sakes. And he, besides, that's besides the point. So, faction died, and now I was forced at the last pay-per-view to create a new tag team with the three Zacks, ZZ Top, ob obviously two Zacks compete, and then there's another one up the top, hence the name ZZ Top, because the third Zack is kind of like the ringer of the whole thing. See what I mean? ZZ Top. It well, that didn't do anything for me. It fell through. That that's kind of a faction, ZZ Top. Like, nothing's really going my way, and it's pretty fucking bullshit if you ask me. Pretty shit. So, Kangamania's coming up, and I got nothing to do, I'm bored. I'm sitting here just fucking twiddling my thumbs. And I thought to myself... Darcy. Darcy. You're not doing anything. I hear you got a pretty good magician uh, fucking gimmick going on. So, Darcy, how about you face moi at Kangamania? Old classic exhibition style, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's what I've got to say. Darcy, you gonna fucking step up, show me your magic, uh, do a little card trick for me, some fucking the cup game. You know what I mean? You put the ball in the cup and you spin it around. There. All right, I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Zach left without anything to do. And I guess Zach as well. And then, obviously, Zach. The ZZ Top Zach. Um, none of them have anything to do. And Zach has called out Darcy, his fellow Australian brother. Not sure what's going on there, but... Well, hey, next episode of Smack Talk, maybe we see exactly... What's going on with that? <laughs> Let's see Darcy's response at the very least. Uh, the magnificent one, one might say. But for now, yeah, I don't... I just kind of got sent that. I have no... I don't know either, guys. I don't know either. <laughs> that's all I can say. So, now that that's out of the way, I guess, uh, I'm going to make a huge announcement! Not very huge. It's expected, ladies and gentlemen. But... Sometimes what's expected is what you always wanted all along. Yes, that is right, ladies and gentlemen. Zach has tried to set up a match here for Kangamania tonight, and I am officially going to set up a match because the Figgy Memorial Battle Royal is returning at Kangamania. Now, I do not have the contestants because I am announcing it right now, and I hope that I do get some contestants, people that would like to be in the match, in my DMs, very shortly after this episode goes live. 
And if not, then I will jump off a cliff. But I won't die. And it will be in a video game, because I don't know about YouTube's uh, guidelines. I don't know what I can say. <laughs> so, it will be in a video game. If I don't get DMs, I will jump off a cliff. But I won't die. I'll be fine. Just, just broken legs. Yes, the Figgy Memorial Battle Royal has returned, ladies and gentlemen. And traditionally, the winner gets a KKPL Predictions Championship shot. So, if you think you might be interested, let me know. Now that we've had that huge announcement done, let us move on yet again. And I apologize to some of you in the audience because I know you will not be very happy with the man, the myth, the legend that is about to show up on your screens. But please listen to what Sebi has to say. I want to know something, Mikey. Do you think I'm really that stupid? Do you think I'm really just there out of whimsy? Trying to, you know, mess everything up for you while I still want you to keep the TV title? No, I don't care if you have the TV title or not. It's never been about that. You should honestly know better. You should honestly know better. I was there the other week at Revolution because I wanted you to lose. I like seeing your downfall. If that's what you want me to say. Because quite frankly... It's disappointing that you don't know why I'm still grabbing at you at this point. You've been in this league for however many years, been a master of your craft for most of it, and yet you still don't know why I'm grabbing at your leg. Fact is, Mikey, and no disrespect to the TV title, it's a prestigious title. But you need to understand something, it was never about that title for me. It's only the cherry on top. The fact of the matter is, Mikey, I want to face you, and I want to beat you, title or not. Who cares? It's never been about that. Though it would be nice. Let's be honest here. It's a nice, pretty little thing. And it's a pretty enough thing for you to be sad about once I take it off your hands. And I know you've said no to me a thousand times before, but I guess I need to hear it a thousand and first time. So meet me next week, because, and I'm going to put this in words that you of all people would understand, it's going to be an offer that you cannot refuse. And it hurts me to say that. I didn't want to take it this far, but I guess I have to. Maki is a loser. Mikey sucks eggs. Mikey is a loser. You know I won't get off his leg. Mikey, I'll see you next week. Mikey, if nobody else was, I hope you were listening because Sebi has an offer that you can't refuse. And I guess on the next episode of Smack Talk, the both of them will meet up, perhaps for the final time. And we'll see what Sebi's offer truly is. A gamble of the century by the Sebster. And Mike, of course, loves a gamble. Now, ladies and gentlemen, last week on Smack Talk, if you didn't, if you didn't watch it, if you missed it, we had a promo for the ages by one Bidneth man. He revealed some things about his life and revealed that he and Brandon, at least he believes, share the exact same dream. They both want the spotlight. And that spotlight is only big enough for one of them. Bidneth man promised when it comes to that dream, He's not the one that's going to wake up at Kangamania. And now, gentlemen, ladies, we will hear from your KKPL predictions champion, Brandon. Last week on the KKPL business talk, the business man, he gave a pretty fine speech. 
He told about his sad backstory. And you know, it was sad. It was sad, I'll give him that. But the thing about people who have to tell their sob stories means they're backed in a corner. He wants the people's sympathy. Why would he say this now and not before? And who cares? People who need to say that? Doesn't matter. What's now is now. What's in the past is in the past. Everyone's had struggles. Yours isn't special, business man. I'm sorry. I don't even believe most of your business stuff. I believe you were poor and grew up with a, a sick family. That's about it. It's just really surprised me that you went down that route, business man. But it's what business mans do when they're in when they're cornered. They pull out anything they can do to sell these people on why he should win. Why it's his dream to win. It's funny, I'm living the dream right now, so what can you do, business man? You showed your true colors, you showed weakness. And that's why I'm going to win at KKPL Mania. Kanga Mania. Because I don't show weakness. Because I don't have weakness. Everything is on the table. I don't hide stuff. When I struggle. Doesn't need to be a big deal. I lost my best friend last year. You didn't see me making a big deal about it. But the ball's in your court. Why you have to say this all now, huh? Your dream for the spotlight... We know that. We know you're a business man. But that backstory... <sighs> crocodile tears. Fake. Not buying it baloney. You people. You always have this kind of backstory. You always want to make them people sad. You always want them... Their approval on their side. I just need... Me right now for that approval. KKPL, me and you. Dream versus dream. Winner gets the spotlight. It's going to be the man who's already living the dream. See you there. Punky Brewster. Just over a week away from WrestleMania, we have an intense rivalry heating up here for the KKPL Predictions Championship. One of them will fail at actualizing, at realizing their dream come the end of Kangamania. And one of them will keep living that dream. And you, the audience, the Kang gang, will have to tune in to find out which is which. But for now, that is it for this week's episode of Wednesday Night's Mac Talk. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and doing all that stuff that you do. And I shall see you very soon. Bye now. Bye. T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U. Thank you. Thank you. T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U. Thank you, guys.